I lost my Logitech G502 Lightspeed mouse, but lucky for me, this thing is old news anyway, because this right here is the new hotness, the G502X Plus, the latest refresh of the legendary Logitech G502. So, let's see exactly what's new. Here it is, moment of truth. Honestly, looks almost identical, doesn't it? I mean, when it comes to dimensions, this thing is exactly the same as the G502 Lightspeed. What has changed, however, is some of the other features. Because one of the features that the back of the box boasts about is the fact that this uses hybrid optical and mechanical switches. Well, in theory, that does sound kind of, well, pointless. It should, in theory, give you the much lower latency of optical switches while giving you that nice, forceful feedback of a mechanical switch. And just kind of pressing down on these right here, it does pretty much feel the same as it did. Now the buttons themselves over here do look a bit different, as you can see, they have like a nice gloss finish now. But yeah, overall, they still feel the same. And when it comes to the side switches, once again, it feels, well, exactly the same. Almost as if it's the exact same mouse with just a handful of small features that make you feel like you're missing out. But Logitech would never do that, would they? Okay, okay, I joke, but it is actually one major feature that's new in this mouse. And can you see it? Can you see it now? Can you see the thing that Logitech is like several years behind the industry in? That's right. It finally, finally has USB Type-C. I have no idea how it took Logitech so many years to finally put USB Type-C in the products, but they're finally doing it, so that's nice. Looking underneath the mouse here, things are looking pretty similar. Once again, you have a little puck you can take out to store your dongle inside, and uh, actually, this is interesting. The inside of the puck looks a lot different. Like in the light speed, you have different like cutouts in it where you put your little uh, weights, but I actually don't see it. Do we even have weights with this mouse? Wait, 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 wait. Don't, please don't tell me that. There's no weights. There's actually no weights. You cannot adjust the weight of this mouse. One of the main features of the G502 Lightspeed and the G502 series in general. I'm done. I'm done. I'm actually done. See ya. Bye. So let's at least see if the weights, at least the ones I have left over, for my light speed actually, like, you know, work at all. Let's just kind of put this in there and then, um, yeah. Oop. You can kind of hear it rattling, but I mean, it's the mess you're having. Once again, you still have this weird USB Type-C to a adapter thingy, which I honestly still don't really get the point of, even though they include it in like every single product. And what's also neat is that you also get one replacement key as well. So you can replace the, I believe it's, is it this one right over here? It looks like it. If not, I probably just pulled off something, which I, yep, there we go. That's actually a pretty, that's actually a pretty cool feature, especially seeing how this one is smaller but rubberized, while this one is larger and, well, not rubberized. And when we turn it on, we're gonna see, yep, there it is, another key change in this mouse, and another feature you paid way too much for at a time you should probably be saving your money, seeing how we're in a bit of a recession. Look at that glorious RGB. Now, previously, the only thing that had RGB would be the Logitech logo, which you couldn't see half the time anyway, because, well, your hand would be over it, and also the DPI meter, which, honestly, I can't, I can't see. I, I actually can't see it on this mouse as well. And something else I have kind of high hopes for is the rubber right here, because one major complaint that I and many of us had is that over time, this rubber got extremely dirty, not to mention just kind of like rubbed off, revealing the mouse underneath. This pattern right here not only feels more comfortable, but it also feels like it should be a lot more resistant to you, you know, grabbing it at full force while trying to clutch a 1v5 in Rubber Six Siege, and then subsequently, throwing your mouse against the wall when you don't. So, again, it's a nice improvement in this mouse. And overall, when it comes to just its design language in general, when it comes to rubber here, when it comes to RGB kind of shriek right here, dividing the mouse up into three zones, it does look a lot more nice and modern. A G502 light speed was starting to look a bit dated, and this is just, I mean, come on. 
there's like no prettier gaming mouse than this. And if you want to buy this mouse yourself, then make sure to use the Amazon links down in the video description below. Because that way you don't pay anything extra, not even a penny more, while we get some money as well that gets reinvested straight back into the channel. So if you want to learn more, then our full review of this mouse is going to be coming very, very soon. And in the meantime, if you want to make me feel better about how much this mouse costs, then hey, maybe check out our Patreon down in the video description below because your support over there helps us make videos like this one because let's be honest, YouTube doesn't pay that much. So even one single dollar tree goes a long way where well, you get awesome perks as well. And also to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, LKB, Justin Rage, Ella Vronia, Balash Velka, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lensby and Jesse Herbman. Thank you guys so, so much for what truly goes a long way. Then you can find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's what it's. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.